Sleep is very important for your health. It controls your body temperature and energy use. It keeps your immune system working. It controls your brain function and restores your memory. It keeps your heart and blood vessels healthy. It repairs tissues and stimulates growth in children. This is due to growth hormone being released during sleep. And it regulates your appetite and weight and controls your blood glucose levels. So there are a lot of potential problems caused by a lack of sleep, such as weight gain, because it disrupts the hormones that control appetite. Plus a person not having much sleep might have more time to eat food and be too tired to exercise. You're more likely to get infections. You're at greater risk of heart disease and stroke. You have an increased risk of inflammation, such as inflammatory bowel disease. You're more likely to get diabetes. This is because your insulin sensitivity goes up, which means you'll have higher blood sugar levels. You'll have reduced athletic performance, difficulty with emotions and socialising. You'll have an increased risk of depression and possibly even suicide. You'll have trouble concentrating, making decisions and learning new information. And you'll have an increased risk of accidents or injury. In fact, a lack of sleep can impair your driving as much as drinking alcohol. And finally, you may experience reduced libido and testosterone levels. In fact, men with sleep apnea are particularly at risk of having low testosterone levels. So, how much sleep do you actually need? Well, adults normally need about 7-8 to eight hours sleep. Older people don't need quite as much but children need more. For example, babies need about 12 to 16 hours per night, young children about 10 to 13 hours, and teenagers about 8 to 10 hours. And the three most common signs you're sleep deprived are fatigue, mood swings, and difficulty concentrating. And when you've not been getting enough sleep, you develop a sleep debt, which builds up over time. And like a money debt, this needs to be paid back. So you need at least two nights of good quality sleep to recover. But there are some things you can do to make sure you get a good night's sleep, such as making sure you exercise at least 30 minutes per day, preferably outside. Avoid caffeine and nicotine in the second half of the day. Turn off your electronic devices at least one hour before bed, so that means turning off your computer, TV and phone. Don't have a large meal at least two hours before bed. Keep your bedroom cool and dark. Take a hot bath or use relaxation techniques before bed. Go to bed and wake up the same time each day, including weekends. And there are also some supplements you might find helpful, such as vitamin B6, passionflower, magnesium and 5-HTP. The websites I got my information from for this video are Healthline, the National Heart, Lung and Blood Institute, the NHS, Health Navigator and the Global Healing Centre. And the links are in the description if you want to find out more about all this. Anyway, I hope you found this video helpful, and if you did, please click the like button, and maybe even the subscribe button too. Until next time, I wish you the very best of health.